So, okay. Jake, I appreciate you being so patient that you're standing up there while we get into the set. Is my head in the way? Oh, no, you're fine. <laughs> okay. Hi, my name is Jake Murray, and I've learned a lot about who I am as a person, as well as a learner during these last two years at MPX. So first of all, when you're trying to figure out who you are and what you want to become in your life, you need to ask yourself one question. What are my interests? This is extremely important because you want to do something in life where you're interested in as well as you're good at it. So I chose five different possible things that I could want to become in my life. And firstly, I chose sports player because I'm, I love basketball and like basketball is my life. And if I could do that for a living, that'd be really cool. And um, secondly, my dad's in the military and he seems to love it. So if I could like continue like the family name in a way of becoming a um, US Marine Corps soldier, that'd be really cool. And plus there's great benefits to it. Um, being an athletic trainer would be a more realistic and easier thing to be around the game of basketball and sports in general because um, you don't really need to be good at it or be good at sports to become one. And I, I just like helping people and that would be a good chance for me. Um, going along with the basketball theme, um, being a sports scout would give me a chance to do what I love and just meet new people and stuff like that. Um, lastly, um, this is kind of the left field kind of random thing that I would want to become is a sociologist because in regular classes you learn what happens and you don't dive deeper and figure out why things happen. And I think um, learning the reason behind things would be interesting. So I narrowed down the five into two choices and the Marine Corps soldier and the college level basketball scout because I think that, that would be more realistic for me. Um, being a Marine Corps soldier, would you would need integrity, pride, and heart. And if you have those three things, then you'll, you'll go pretty far. And the same goes for a college level basketball scout, even though there isn't really a set like major um, pathway that you can do. Um, talk about how MPX has helped me. Um, MPX has given me some of the traits and virtues that you need to become to, um, both of those jobs because um, you need integrity and all of those for now. Can I show that? Show sure, what, sorry? That, this. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know you would need audio, so you want to pause it for one second? We'll give you audio. I'm going to pause this. <coughs>
I gave my parents, I thought that that would be a really cool thing because um, it just gave me a chance to um, be known as one of the most people in the world with like integrity and stuff like that. Um, some of the projects in FPX through these last two years have really helped me, giving me um, these things that I need for my possible careers. Um, first of all, the Green Wall. Last year, in the beginning, um, we took a field trip up in the North Shore, and we learned about sustainable, sustainable gardens and, um, and farms that um, are green and help the environment. And Mr. Hines gave us, um, he gave us this opportunity to create a garden like that. And um, even though we didn't finish it last year or even this year, um, I think that um, I, was, I was able to lead our group in a way. And um, the next project, the exhibit project, um, I was able to lead our group. Or I was able to grow in integrity because if I, I would learn to um, say something and then do it based on that. Um, in the Water Wednesday in Ms. Calibro's class, we, um, we learned about the water crisis in the world and how millions of people are dying because they're not hydrated enough and they don't have enough water. And we created a um, project to help our campus and um, we worked in groups and that helped my communication skills. Um, in the Wall Project, we were um, given a country of our choice and we were supposed to make a, um, a wall panel to um, describe our, like, this, um, to describe the, what's going on in that country as well as other things that are going on at that time. And that really helped my creativity. Um, there isn't really a set major or path or um, thing that you need to do to become both of these. But um, if you want to become a soldier or a, um, or a, sol yeah, a Marine Corps person, you need to um, go through a ROTC program. And um, I've listed a couple that schools that were good for this, like University of Texas, Texas A&M, and Marquette. And um, for a college basketball recruiter, you need to um, be around the game and uh, play basketball for um, a, a kind of sub-career, I guess. And um, you need to play basketball at a college level, usually, um, to become one. And uh, there's some good junior colleges that um, are good for basketball programs, like Lipscomb, uh, um, Louisiana State, and Shreveport, and um, as well as Marquette. Questions for Jake? <coughs> Students, don't be shy. You know a question to ask. Could, could you dig down a little bit on the, um, on the concept of integrity? As a teacher, I always struggle with, with trying to teach some of those values, right? Not lecture on them, but actually create learning. What, what in your project work? Um, you get specific about the experiences that, that model that for you? Um, usually, um, in that project, um, I learned, or before, I didn't really um, do work as well. Or, like, I didn't like complete my tasks on time, and I think that, that um, in, this, in that project, I think it was the wall project, that I learned um, that I needed to like, do what I said I was going to do and kind of follow through with what I going to do, and that, um, in my idea, is integrity. How did you learn that? Um, um, I don't know. Um, I think just I didn't want to let down my people, so I just decided to do it because um, just you don't want to like, be embarrassed and like, um, not be prepared. Yeah. So an accountability to, yeah. to your team? Yeah. Jay, can you, 
Is there something in your mind that, that when you came into Phoenix that you were hoping you would get out of it that you didn't get out, and what that is, and what you're going to do about that? Um, yeah, I think that um, in general, when I came in, I thought it was going to be like um, a more project, like even though we did a lot of projects, we didn't really finish like a lot. And I think that um, I was hoping that we could like finish and actually display most of our projects up. And in your class and this Calibros class, um, we didn't really get to um, finish and show off our work to other people, to other classes. And that's what I thought that we were going to be able to do when I first came in. So how are you going to solve that? I know, unfortunately, you won't be with us next year. So otherwise, I'd challenge you to figure out how to do that here. But what do you think, uh, for those that are going to be back next year, what's, what's the solution for you? I think the reason that we didn't finish a lot of our stuff, a lot of our projects was that um, a lot of us procrastinated a lot. And we didn't really use our class time effectively. And I think if we like, used all of our class time and stuff more effectively, we could have done it and then been able to. So, yeah, just timely completion of your stuff. Students, you know Jake, ask him questions. Do you feel like you've been exposed to enough careers to make a career decision at this point in, in your life? Or do you feel like you're still kind of um, unsure exactly what you'd like to do in the future? Yeah, um, when Ms. Calvo gave us this in 10 years theme, I was really like shocked because I didn't like know any like, possible careers that I wanted to do. So I just chose um, a couple that I was kind of interested in, not really knowing like, what I wanted exactly. Perhaps you could consider maybe going into either first the Marines or maybe then later on you could pursue a career in basketball. Were you thinking of having that as your career goal? Um, I was just Kind of, but I didn't really like think about it that much. No. Which project inspired you the most? Um, and why? I think the wall project because um, I was I had more of a um, leadership-based role, and I kind of contributed to the group more, or more than any of the other projects. And I wasn't just a bottom worker. One of the things that you did that I was really proud of was when you started working on the green wall idea, you started with this idea of using pallets, recycling pallets, and turning them into um, you know, plantings and places. And you had spent quite a bit of time at home kind of trying to develop a system to do that, right? So I mean, so there's an idea that you sort of generated and worked on a bit. Is, is, when you do work like that, does that, is, do you have any intention to continue with that at all and work on it? Because you said that you wish we had finished that, right? Even if you're not here. I'm curious, do any of those things stick and go beyond this? Yeah, I can do it. I, I, I was actually um, wondering, because we're moving and we're um, trying, to, trying to figure out where we're going to live, so I wanted to get a, um, like, it's, I wanted to make a garden at my next house and possibly, like, do that and then, like, show my teachers at my next school what I'm doing and talk to them about it. I have one last question for you, but I, I encourage people to ask. I mean, we, we want to put Jake on the spot. He's learned so much. I'm sure he has so much to share still. Um, if you had stayed at Midpac, you would have gone into a more standard schedule in terms of how you spend time with teachers. How do you think you're different as a learner now if you were to, even in your new school that you're going to go to, which may not be like MPX and maybe more like a traditional school, and that you go maybe five, six, seven classes a day with different teachers. So what has MPX taught you about that that maybe um, well, how, is it, how are you different as a learner that's going to help you in that regard? I think I'm different as a learner because other people in traditional classes, they like just want to um, listen to their teacher and then go home and then do their homework on a little sheet. Um, in MPX, I've learned to like ask why and like um, want to know why people do stuff and why things happen rather than just what happens. 